Hi. Can you describe the medical problem you've been dealing with lately? And so my name is Jenna. I've been dealing with a lot of pain recently, and I've been having like severe cramping for, uh, I guess, over two months now. Um, very bad nausea, hair loss, um, headaches. Uh, I think that's like the general thing. A lot of back pain, and I've seen a bunch of doctors. I haven't figured out what it is. Um, I have a very long medical history within my family of different diseases, uh, such as PCOS, and there's a family history of miscarriages, which I think could be impacting it, but as of right now, I have no idea what the actual issue is. So, you brought up your family. Could you talk a little bit mm -hmm. more about PCOS and mm -hmm. the experience your family's had with that? Yeah. And so PCOS is like where you have, uh, it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. And you have cysts on your ovaries, which affects like irregular periods uh, and fertility issues, which is like the main thing. So um, my older sister, she has PCOS and because of it, she recently had a miscarriage. Um, my cousin has PCOS, um, a long history on my dad's side. Two of my aunts on my dad's side actually. Um, recently I found out that it's not that. So I think it could be something more serious which I'm leaning more towards endometriosis, which is where like the uterine lining grows outside of the uterus, which has a lot of effects on fertility and pain, which is why I think that's probably the issue. So how has your experience uh, been with doctors trying to figure out what this is? So I went to a doctor in December, the beginning of December, they ran, um, internal exams and they didn't find anything there they sent me out for ultrasounds i got two ultrasound ultrasounds done and blood work those all came back negative then i went home for winter break and i went to the hospital because my pain got even more severe than it was and i started to get worried of something more serious i went to the hospital i had two more ultrasounds done x-rays more blood work and they gave me no answers. They referred me to a gynecologist and I went to a gynecologist near my house and the doctor um, did an internal exam and before she even like could figure out or finish asking me my symptoms, she said sometimes women just get pain, which is very disheartening to hear, especially from a professional who you're supposed to be getting your answers from. And when I explained that I had a family history of a disease, she said family history doesn't impact this and you're too young to worry about anything like that when I mentioned um, miscarriages running in my family, which is a lot of a concern because I have been having severe pain and I don't want that to impact my future. So it was very hard to hear from a doctor that not to worry about pain, that it's normal when it definitely isn't. And yeah. How would you say <laughs> that that has affected your view of your relationship with doctors and the medical industry in general? Honestly, it's very hard to want to trust another doctor. I haven't been like obligated to go to another doctor because now I just don't want to hear the same things make me think like I'm just over exaggerating my pain or anything like that. So I haven't been to another doctor since, but I don't know that I would trust them again in the future. All right. Thank you. No problem.